Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS reminds all truckers the deadline to file and pay heavy highway vehicle use tax is August 31st. Oh yeah, IRS? Well, I'd like to remind you that killing lines is bad. So I would ask you to watch your language when using harmful terms like deadlines. Yeah, lines lives matter, man. Lines lives matter. Not nearly as much as human lives, admittedly, or animal life, or plant life, but still, lines lives matter, man. Obviously, I mean, lines are made of matter as a matter of fact, and that's the bottom line. Now, I'd rather not wake up tomorrow to find the bottom line is now a deadline due to your violent rhetoric. How would you like it if people started talking about dead taxes? I know I'm in the right on this one because even Phil was pissed off about it. Although he's always pissed off about something. Anyways, let it be known, IRS, you're on my list. Using violent language like that, you're on my list. But first, an attempt at a joke. The IRS isn't so tough. And you're not so tough. If I wanted to, I could take him out using only my bad hand. It doesn't matter, I can take you with one hand. Right. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> and that's really saying something because my bad hand is so bad, it's crazy. Just five seconds ago, I had to drag it flicking and screaming out of the cookie jar. IRS Tax Tip 2022-124, August 15, 2022. The heavy highway vehicle use tax is a federal excise tax. These taxes are used to pay for highway and mass transit projects. It is annual tax on heavy highway motor vehicles operating on public highways with a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more. The deadline to file and this tax is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. So all taxpayers who file form 2290, there's a link to that here, are encouraged to do so electronically. Of course, the IRS is trying to get everything electronic these days because they want to have it all automated and so on. So those with 25 or more taxed vehicles must e-file. All the information needed to file is on the Trucking Tax Center. There's a link to that here. Here are the steps taxpayers should follow. Gather information. Filers will need these things to complete and file their 2290 form. So here's the stuff you need when you got the 2290 in front of you or possibly before you have the 2290 in front of you, possibly on your computer electronically filing it and employer identification number. So they need to know who you are. Who are you? You're a number, obviously. Taxpayers cannot use the social security number. So you need the EIN number. If you don't have one, it's a fairly easy thing to file for. Even sole proprietors who do not have any employees could get an EIN number if they so choose typically. So anyone who doesn't have an EIN can apply online. There's a link to that here. Taxpayers should use the same name on their form 2290 as was assigned to them with their EIN. The name control on form 2290 must match their EIN. There's a link to that here. Vehicle identification number of each vehicle. So they need to know what vehicles you're talking about. How, what, how do they know who the vehicle is? They're a number. The, everything's a number. So taxable gross weight of each vehicle. So you got to know how much those things weigh so they can properly tax you on it. So filers can use the table on page two of the form 2290 to calculate their tax for vehicles based on each vehicle's weight file. So there are two ways taxpayers can file form 2290. You got the e-file, which apparently is the preferred way for the IRS. There's a link to that here. All taxpayers can file electronically for faster processing. The advantage of e-filing form 2290 is the IRS provides a watermarked form 2290 schedule one to the taxpayer within minutes of receiving the e-file return. So you know it went through, you know they didn't lose it in the mail or any of that kind of stuff typically or that's the general idea at least. Paper filers receive their Schedule 1 within six weeks after the IRS receives the return. Taxpayers who are reporting 25 or more vehicles are required to file electronically, or you could do it by paper. Taxpayers can complete, complete Form 2290 and then email it to the IRS. Filers can go to Form uh, 2290 instructions for the correct mailing address. So there's not too many benefits to filing uh, by paper, except that it probably just totally annoys the IRS. So if you want to, if you want to do that, you know, you could probably annoy them. Uh, if you owe them money, obviously you could try to file. You can give them a paper check, and it might take them longer to process the check as long as you get it in on time. And maybe they don't charge you any penalties and or interest on that. 
Uh, so there's that, but they're trying to get everyone to e-file. So if you're trying to be on the good side of the IRS, then you probably want to e-file and get the automatic verification notification and so on. So pay, how do you pay them? So there are several ways for taxpayers to pay the tax. You got the credit card or debit card. I think they charge you a fee, but that's on the credit card or debit card side if you choose that method. So filers can pay by internet, phone, or mobile device. You got the electronic funds withdrawal, and there's a link to that here. Taxpayers can authorize a direct deb debit when they file electronically. You got the electronic federal tax payment system. There's a link to that here. Using this system requires advanced enrollment. You got the check or money order. You can mail the good old form 2290 and form 2290V. That's the voucher, payment voucher too. There's an address here. You can look it up. There'll be a link to this in the description to mail the check to. And again, the only benefit of mailing the check possibly is it might take a little bit longer to clear as long as you're not <laughs> as long as you're not hitting the deadline if you're trying to you know if you're really tight on things and you'd, re and you'd rather hold on to the money as long as possible and most likely piss off the irs a little bit more as they have to have someone actually open an envelope over there and whatnot so but depending on what your particular motivations are <laughs> so those who are unsure if they are required to file this form can use the do I need to pay the the heavy highway vehicle tax tool? There's a link to that here. Using this tool, owners answer a series of questions to help determine if they are required to pay highway use tax. So uh, there's links to a bunch of stuff here related to the highway use tax, and there'll be a link to this in the description.